Okay, and uh, welcome back to uh, the channel. Um, I just had a delivery of my uh, pigeon comb, which I uh, sent for last week. Um, I've picked up a bag of uh, foam fabrics and also uh, Fraser foam, and also for the young birds, Breeding Wind Supreme. Um, it's uh, it was here pretty quick. Ordered it in a week, and uh, here she comes. Anyway, uh, just gone into uh, the loft we've got, I think it's, uh, we've got, what is it, uh, one, two, three, four, we've got 16 pairs now sitting, and we've got, I think it's, uh, what is it, uh, one, two, three, three, four, we got five pairs that have uh, hatched out and uh, they're sitting on, uh, on babies. This is, uh, this is my little red cock here. He's, uh, he's had two youngins. Came down day before yesterday and uh, a pair of uh, Gabby Van der Bailey's. She's sitting on two youngins. Uh, what else have you got? Oh yeah, I've got this. This pigeon here amazes me. Um, it was reported in Aberystwyth by a non-fancier. So I went to pick her up, put it in my shed. She couldn't see out. And um, it took her 80 miles. I threw her out up towards Manchester at half past four in the afternoon and I was cleaning out the next day and the next thing I see is this little hen dropped through my Sputnik having never been out, been kept up for about two or three weeks. So anyway I reported her and the fancier had lost her in Guernsey this year in the Old Bird. I think it was some national race. Anyway, um, I informed the owner that um, that she had been here and uh, he asked if I wanted a keeper. And I said, well, what I'd do, I said, is I'd um, give her another couple of tosses so I took her 70 miles south and I let her go on a Sunday afternoon and she come again so then I took her back then to the other side of Manchester which is about 70-80 miles again and uh, I let her go and she came home again so uh, the guy transferred it over to me so I'll give her a go and see how she comes so she seems to be happy here. Uh, these are the six youngsters that I've uh, weaned off. Um, they've been out. Uh, we're a little bit strong in the wing and uh, this little dark checker here she decided she wanted a night out and also the the little pied cock at the back, he decided to have the night out. Yeah, he's the son of young Paris, and this one here is a son, I think it's a, well, I think it's a hen, uh, of the uh, young Barcelona cock of uh, Dave Reynolds. But they're coming on well, and uh, in my breeding uh, loft now, I, I moved. I've moved them all over now to to the loft uh, in this brick loft up by here. So I've got my pigeons in here. Um, they're coming on well. I got my uh, also I got pigeons in in here as well, and I'll show you some of the youngsters now. Um, of what I've got, if I can get in here, right then, right, 
here we are. So I've got uh, a couple of your lens in here. Uh, these were sent down, I got from um, Gary Thomason in uh, Who Dares Wins and he's bred me two, two young uns and yeah they look alright, they seem to be coming on. I usually don't like doing videos because you know the nest boxes and everything are bloody terrible, they're so fidgety. I don't like cleaning uh, young birds out to be honest. It generates a bit of heat in the nest box as well and they do come on well. You know these pigeons are starting to pick up and uh, I've got another pair here then. They don't want to decide to sit in the nest box so these are coming on quite well. I like this pigeon and I am a big believer in the white toenails and everything when well, I got a solid colour pigeons there, no pides, no nothing with them and yet they got the white toenails, sign of winners I hope, so they say. So that's them. And then over here I've got my young Paris cock. He's going down now on another set of eggs with the there he is, and he's going down on another set of eggs with the Jeff Kirtland snake hen. Uh, here then I have these black pigeons. Um, supposed to be up to five six hundred mile pigeons so they'll be coming in here and uh, they'll be known to me as the Welsh black so I got a pair here and him there and then there's a Dave Reynolds uh, youngster off direct out of the base hen pair and she is going to be paired to this cock here which is a Jack Stackety pigeon and he's out of the stayer um, lines of Jack Stackety and uh, well I had a direct son out of uh, Jack Stackety's uh, the stayer and he partly well he died about a fortnight ago so when I saw this pigeon come up on the uh, on the internet I thought I'd give him a go so fair play He's not a bad cock and I uh, picked him up last week. Well, just gone on the weekend, so he's just gone. And then in here, I've got uh, this pigeon here is my Welsh South Roads section winner. And he's paid to another direct daughter of Dave Reynolds is uh, base hen and this cock here um, he's a direct son of time six and he was gifted to me last week when I went to pick up the pigeon off the uh, off the Desea from uh, Craig up in Canuck uh, Chambers he had a sale and uh, he gifted me this pigeon and then I've got uh, Dave Reynolds' uh, hen of the son of the 500. She's there. And I've paired her to this cock here, which is the son of the Barcelona. So he's, uh, they're sitting, they've been sitting a couple of days. So yeah, all in all, everything is uh, going, going pretty well. As I said, I don't like showing the birds in uh, in the boxes. It's uh, you know I have, you know and I don't like cleaning the boxes out and uh, the um, the youngsters are in the boxes and uh, well as I said I like to give them a bit of heat because you know with this weather so <clears throat> like I said I've got a couple of. Uh, 
young birds. I'll just try and get them out because it's pretty dark in here. So, um, yeah, this is uh, this is one of the pigeons I got. And like I said, it's pretty dark in here, so I can't really see them. So, I'll hope to do another video later on uh, of when they're uh, they're ready to be weaned. But um, hopefully, I've got. Uh, there's a 10 pigeons now to go to one loft races. I have uh, six to go up to um, uh, Who Dares Wins, and I've got four to go into the RPRA. But um, a little bit of advice I was given don't plan on giving birds from certain birds, just go in on the day and pick up your you have six pigeons for them and four pigeons for them because you can guarantee that they won't uh, you'll uh, think oh I'd rather have sent him and not him so um, hopefully they'll uh, they'll turn out to be okay and another thing that uh, a bit of advice another guy gave me when uh, I spoke to him in Doncaster he said um, make sure they got plenty of light and that they can't see out so that they can't pick up any bearings and it doesn't confuse the birds then when you uh, take them to the one loft race so the minute you get them out of the box then they'll start um, to, to, to get their bearings out of uh, out of that loft and it's better for them but like I said you know that pigeon there uh, she'd never been out of my loft and she uh, she came back from the other side of Manchester and uh, well she's here now and uh, hopefully we'll uh, we'll give her a go anyway uh, hope your uh, your breeding and everything is going fine hopefully I should have about 60 young uns now and that should be it hopefully anyway I uh, hope you enjoy this uh, little video and uh, we'll speak to you again all the best. Bye for now. Bye.